Okay, so today we're out in the field and we're going to be replacing a standard GFCI with a GFCI with a built-in nightlight. So you get your standard GFCI with two outlets and instead of having one outlet always blocked with a nightlight such as this, we're going to be replacing it with an outlet with a nightlight built right into the side here. So the first step is going to be to pulling out the outlet and then to check and make sure that the power is off. Okay, now we're going to check and make sure that the power is off by using a non-contact tester. We'll turn our tester on and we'll check the hot side of the outlet. No beeping, power's off. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the wires out and we'll swap them out with the new one. So what we'll do now is we'll actually go ahead and inspect the old wiring just to make sure there's no frays on the wire, the wire itself looks good, stuff like that. Nothing obvious. And everything looks good. So now actually what the geniuses who did before me, they didn't have the ground hooked up to this the old GFCI said it's sitting here in the box which we love that so we're definitely going to make sure that's hooked up now okay so now what we're going to do is go ahead and install the outlet so and how we're going to do that is we're just going to slide the wires right into the back holes first identifying the hot side which is the brown side here as opposed to the neutral side which is the silver Go ahead and slide that in and we'll tighten up the screw. Do the same on the neutral side here. Actually, if your wire is a bit too long like this sticking out of the box, we don't want that. So we'll just trim it up just a little bit. There you go. Nice and tight fit now. We'll go ahead and tighten that side up. We'll flip it right side out. Now can see this or not. Zoom in here. You can see your ground wire here is just attached to the back of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a ground wire onto this and attach it to the old existing one. Okay, now that we have our new ground wire, what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the outlet and we're going to attach it to the existing ground wire in the box. So, lately I've been kind of hooked on these push-in wire nuts. We'll just slide this one in. And we'll attach this to our new outlet. making just a small hook here so that we can attach it around the ground screw. Always have the hook facing whichever way you're going to tighten your screw. Tighten her down. We're going to 
take the existing ground. We're going to push it into the other side of this wire nut. Tape up our outlet. Being as this ground wire is only a ground wire, it's really not important for it to have a coating or to get tape on it. But we can put a little on the wire nut just to keep everything in place. times around the outlet and we feed our wires back into the box nice and easy making sure not to scratch or damage the wire in the process get it just about where it's gonna go and we reinstall Install our cover plate. Okay, now that the cover plate's installed, her next step is going to be to turn it on and to test the nightlight. So let's go turn the power on. Okay, now that the power is back on, we'll give it a quick test with an on contact tester. See that we have power. Then we'll test out the nightlight. So turn off the lights, it's going to get dark. Right, there we go. So, pretty quick installation of an outlet, and it's nice now, now we have one functioning outlet without having to have one of these plugged in. So thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.